Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro. I'm a professor in the Department of Family and Community Medicine at the University of Toronto, and I also sit on the Board of Trustees of the North American Menopause Society. I'm joined by Dr. Peter Schnatz, a former president of the North American Menopause Society, an obstetrician and gynecologist, and the associate chairman and residency program director at the Reading Hospital in Reading, Pennsylvania. So for our patients who are a little bit confused about safety of hormones and are having intractable symptoms, should they be coming in if I'm a woman with those symptoms, late 40s, early 50s, that are really quite distressing? Should I be coming in sooner to see you or should I just try and tough it out because I read that hormones can cause a lot of side effects? Right. That's a great question, and, and I think you're exactly right, is that so many of our patients have read information in the magazines and journals, talk to friends, and they've become fearful of it, mm -hmm. and try to wait it out, as you're suggesting. And the data is really showing us now that if a woman's going to be treated with hormonal therapy, the sooner she starts, the better, not only for her symptoms, but also some of the other benefits that may come along with the use of hormonal therapy and that later on, not only may those benefits not be there, but they may turn into risks. So the timing then, and um, we often hear in articles, timing hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Talk to me as a patient, what does that timing really mean for me? Right, so we used to think of hormonal therapy as a, a one size fits all. Is it good, is it bad, what does it do? And that was kind of our framework. In much of our recent research, we're now finding that hormonal therapy in patients who are younger and closer to the time of menopause has a very different safety profile. Not only is it safe, but in some women, it's necessary for their positive outcomes. If a patient is earlier than menopause, and this is a, a scenario I'm sure you've seen. I've had patients who had a hysterectomy and their ovaries were removed or they have primary ovarian insufficiency, early menopause, mm -hmm. and they're maybe in their 30s or their 40s and they're afraid to take hormones. In that patient, she really needs to be on hormones or she's gonna have a higher risk of heart disease, um, bone loss and potentially fractures and other poor outcomes. So what's the reassuring news that's there for women in and around the menopause. Yeah, so in and around the time of menopause, clearly for the indications that we use hormones, hot flashes, vaginal dryness, bone loss prevention, we know that hormonal therapy is extremely effective. But we're also seeing that there may be other benefits that the heart effects on the heart are much more beneficial. Um, there was a lot of fear in breast cancer we now know that for short durations, that risk is, is much lower. And if a woman's only using estrogen, it may even be decreased. And so it's a, a much safer profile in that younger woman closer to the time of menopause. Thank you so much. Thank you.